Alrighty, we are recording, yes. Star Citizen. This gorgeous, gorgeous game. Yes, this is new Babage. Yes, new Babage. It's new Babbage, but, you know, Babage sounds fancy. And those are people, yes. Out there in casual, business casual. <laughs> They're out there in business casual. <laughs> enjoying the snow enjoying the cold weather for about an hour before they have to run right back in actually probably less than an hour and there's the spaceport over yonder absolutely gorgeous and you would be thinking to yourself is this Star Wars and you would be half correct this is a star, but it's Star Citizen. The game just looks really nice. I'm playing on low graphics. Um, I'm sure I could bump it up, but I mean, eh, who cares? The game looks good. Where am I headed? I have no clue. Hopefully there's an opening, the promenade. So I'm assuming I can spend some credits. I'm already broke from all the 30Ks, so I'm on a budget. Y'all know what the 30K does. The 30K, it's keeping me oppressed. That is the reason I, I, we can't have nice things. I like, I, I, I it's not, I'm not lazy. I want to work. Trust me, I want to work. But the 30Ks, man, they keep your boy down in the, in the dumps. It ain't right. It ain't right what the 30Ks are doing to me. <laughs> I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to make a good living. <laughs> but man, I'm going to have to take up a different kind of work if I want to make it out here. Okay. Oh, well, you know, uh, let's look. We, we, we got the drip. We got, you know, I, I, I hail from Art Corp, where, in my opinion, we have the best of the best attire. But you know what? I don't mind visiting lesser planets and seeing what they have. Yeah, new Babage running gracefully. I don't even want to look at my FPS. Mm, that new Babage medical kit. Lovely. Lovely. I mean, this has to be one of the newer... Um, more modern uh, home planets that they've done because it, it looks really, really freaking good. Um, but of course, with every planet, there's like a certain theme going on. I don't think I've ever been this way, and there's nothing. Sounds like a like a bars back there. Oh. What's going on? What's going on here? Got some music. I hope my audio isn't flipped. I don't think it is. I hope not. Look at this ice cube. But not ice cube, this giant ice structure. They plucked it from literally outside because, I mean, this entire planet is ice. A clean microtech depends on you, and we'll look in there, and there's absolutely nothing. Clean indeed. Clean indeed. So, you know what would be an interesting concept, right? If the only way to get all the garbage off of the servers where to put things into the garbage recycle salvage bins wouldn't that be an interesting concept like hey if you don't want your server to suck clean up yeah i think that would incentivize everyone to not be a nasty i'm just kidding that would incentivize people to just you know clean up after themselves and maybe in real life, hopefully. 
This this place is really cool. Oh man. Jeez. Jeez me. Look at look at the I mean it speaks for itself, the visuals. God damn, stars to the zone. New Abaj. This is this is different from where I hail. From area 18. Where I get stuck on rooftops because I jump off of like a ledge and I can't get back up to my ship because there's no stairs like why aren't there any stairs on those random rooftops whammers 2801 so if you want a burger come to whammers um I haven't seen a cow in this game so we don't know what kind of meat that is but I'm sure they're gonna have a good time. We don't have this on Art Corp. Damn. See, this has to be one of the newer planets that they've made. I feel that they've put so much time into creating this. Like, it looks like an actual food spot that you would walk into. Alright, let me... Let me do I want a Whammer Deluxe, a Wham Burger, or do I, what is that, Chicken, Chicken Wham, or a Veggie Wham? We're going to stay away from the green Can stuff. You something? Excuse you, sir, sir, let me, let me get my Whammer Deluxe. Oh, jeez, me. Look at that. Next gen burgers. Jeez, look at the cheese. Delicious. The tomato lettuce. You have everything you can ever want. Yum. Two bites. That's, uh, that is next gen, uh, consumption. Hi. And, 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 and then, uh, when we have to throw away the wrappers, we'll just throw them right in here. Along with everything else we don't want on the floor. Whammers. 2080... 2801. Uh, cave into your Give them... Give them a visit. <laughs> that rent ain't gonna pay itself. You know what I'm saying? that rent. Alright, let's get out of here. So, new babage is quite the endeavor. I'm actually only here because I believe I crashed my ship the last time I played. Um, also, while I was here, on landing, I saw this really huge ship that I asked in the in-game chat what it was, and apparently they called it the Reclaimer. It was the most giant, gigantic, ginormous ship I've ever seen in my life. Like, it was a mini house. No, not even. It was bigger than a house. Thing was huge. I couldn't go inside because it wasn't my ship, unfortunately. I, you know, you know me, I would have loved to have gone inside of that thing. I tried to go inside, the little landing thing was down, I went up to it, I had no idea that you had to look down to, to click the thing that gets inside of it, but, I mean, I found that out, but eventually, inevitably, I was not able to go in, because it simply was not my ship, here's the little locker, locker room and storage, you know, before you head out, before you head out, Storage is looking nice, can't complain. Locker room is looking good. We got the sterile medical futuristic. Please save me. So I don't have to go back to the hospital theme. There's no one. Litter. A fresh garden smoothie. Let's see, this 
this just ain't right. And they drank all of it. So I, even if I wanted to get the last sips, I could not. This is not okay. I don't know. Listen, listen. Whoever you are that did this, have you no shame? Have you no shame? At least do it properly. You see that? You see physics. That right there is what we call responsibility. That right, right there. All right, let's get out of here. So, but yeah, seriously though, like I feel like if you were to, so the, the game could sort of, obviously this is an extra step, you know, but the game could give pri priority to clean um, everything that's inside of these bins every in-game hour or something like that. Or it could just remove every single uh, consumable of a certain type every hour, which... But, I mean, if you want to go for realism, right? Like, of course, you would remove things that people have abandoned after a certain time. But, say, if it's in the recycle bin, then it gets removed a lot faster. And we are freezing. Uh, I am going to die. My helmet. Where is my helmet? Mistakes were made. Holy. Let's not make that mistake again. Wait a Wait. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. It was beautiful out there though. No. I guess I can't go that way. I don't have a helmet. Dag na bit. Fleet manager. Welcome to the ASOC. Can I load a vehicle system. from here? RSI links. What is that? Deliver. Request delivery. The vehicle is now being delivered and is en route to your location. Okay. I don't know what an RSI Linux links links is. Links, yes, links. Not Linux links. So I guess I'm supposed to see. Oh. Please visit us again. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's just here somewhere. It's uh, it's Welcome on the planet. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. For when I want it. Somehow. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Well, I can't go outside. I cannot go out there. No matter how much I would love to take a peek, I apparently have to go and get my spaceship. So we're heading back to the commons we're gonna go to the spaceport collect our spaceship and do who knows what so i have to find where the tram is now i've only been in this place for a short amount of time so i am not well versed in knowing where the heck to go but i do know i have to take some stairs probably these stairs we got a transit sext right there. So I believe this is the way. It was a pleasure to have been in New Babaj. Uh, I think it's really well designed. It looks clean. It looks futuristic. The color scheme is quite what I would expect from a game like this. I appreciate the simple map design. Uh, like, like, it, it, it's really awesome. This lake is awesome. My favorite area is over here. I want to say over here. I think this is the Kula section. And there's like so many little uh, buildings on this side and to the west of this area on like mountains that I like. That's like super hard to to like land on at night when it's stormy and visibility is horrid it still makes for a great atmosphere and experience but i like new babbage it's cool it gets 
It gets a plus one from me. Big up to new Babbage. This is awesome. So as our train arrives, now, usually, when I get on here, I get into the train, and my FPS goes to zero. Okay, alright. Zero's a little low, but it usually goes down to, like, five, seven, eight, and then everything gets super choppy. But today, that was not the case. Now, I'm playing this in the free fly event, the Invictus... A flight week thing. I do not have the actual game. Um, I've been playing every uh, free fly week for the past couple of years. Um, for whenever I d you know decide to actually purchase the game, uh, I just haven't done it myself because every time I played it, my frame rate was just not good, and I haven't upgraded my computer in a very long time. But New Babbage has outdone itself, like, my, my, like, this is awesome, look at this, this is crazy, jeez, like, and, and my frame rate is just, my frame rate is okay, it's not low, I mean, it is low, but for me, this is insane, this is like, nothing I've ever had before, it's just, it's smoother than it's ever been for me. And that's what makes this, uh, that's what has the potential to make this game digestible to the average person. Like, sure, there's a bunch of bugs and things that ruin your fun, that set you back, that Here makes you stuff. want to uninstall. But, if the game could be smooth for everybody, you know, or at least in my case, I think I could be okay with the mishaps of the process. Because it is an alpha. It is what it is. I know that it's not complete and that it will not be complete for a very long time. But it can at least be buttery smooth. All right? So that you at least feel good while playing it. I think we go here and I have a sneeze coming on. The sneeze has gone. Alright. We're back. Oh, back to what I was saying. So yes. I hope they work on optimization. Because. Like my PC is not the best. And it feels really good when I get to actually play, play the game. And uh, when it is smooth, because there's a lot to take in, there's a lot to experience. And personally, I've said this before, and I will say it again. I think, I hope we're not, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's a little trippy. It looked like we were going out into the, uh, into the cold. Even, even the spaceport is better than, uh, Art Corp, which is crazy, like, that is so wild to me. Like, this this view is way better than Art Corp and Hurston and, uh, the other places. This, that's, that's nuts, wow. What was I saying? So yeah, like, even though the game is not complete, not anywhere near ready, this experience right here is at least worth something and i feel that people have to remember that like apart from no man's sky and potentially elite dangerous and maybe some other games out there that i don't know of like, there's nothing on this scale that allows you to experience this. Like, this is, this is nuts. Like, this is actually nuts. I've rented a ship. Is that another player? That's not another player. I've rented a, a ship that's really, really cool. I was reluctant. I don't have the ship. 
I'm sad. I don't have the ship. But yeah, um, I think I have about 18,000 maybe. What? So what ship did I rent? It was the uh, Aegis, uh, Phoenix, something, something. It was this big ship that had this really cozy interior with like a bajillion rooms littering. Like a bajillion rooms and uh... Your belongings belong to you. Now, I don't want to be the space Karen. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was really, really awesome because uh, even though you're out there in space, it, it felt homey, you know? Even though I was on uh, Hearst and then all these other awful worlds like Aberdeen, these horrific uh, cave explorings that I was doing, I was still able to feel at home in this super cozy Phoenix spaceship. Like, even though there were windows peering on the outside into the, the disgusting sands, um, it, it, it felt good because of the Phoenix. So where, 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 where is this? Commercial flights? I feel like that's going to be a thing. Commercial flights. Maybe to like different uh, galaxies or something in the near maybe when we're all 70 years old but it's a shame i don't have the ship anymore i should have it but i guess i don't we're gonna expedite this and uh yeah i'm gonna go back to arc corp i wonder if i, I should have enough i should have just enough to get there Ooh, different view. Oh, same view, different angle. Jeez. That's awesome. So imagine this game, and I know for some out there that have amazing rigs, they experience everything with like 60 FPS being the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Um. In fact, we can go here, let's pull it up and see how much frame rate I have. So I'm on, you can see it right there, 25, 23, 22, 21. Um, obviously, for like walking around like this, it's totally fine for walking around like this. But for dog fighting, for um, shoot, like first person shooting, combat it's not ideal I would say but for just walking around experiencing the world going to different planets casual flying it is okay there's the Avenger Titan bad boy one of my favorite ships Thing is, there we go. We're back. Thing is huge. Okay, it's this. Com compared to all the other ships, this is quite small. Compared to the Reclaimer, this this is not, not even anywhere near as large. So we're gonna get this flight ready and. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. The menu, comms. There we go. I find having comms right there is so useful. <laughs> then having to press F1. It's like, the heck, man? What do I have to do all that? Oh gosh, my engines are off. Um, I have to buy. Uh, what do I need? I need, um, a helmet. Okay, let's get out of here. Holy. Oh my gosh, look at the frame rate though. But still, for casual flying, like, it's fine. It is doable. 
it's okay. But dog fighting in this would be a huge no. Is someone down there? I wonder if someone's down there. Do you think someone's down there? Did I go check? I think someone's down there. Right? Let's get a little bit of... Let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah. That looks like a spaceship of some sort. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a gander. But look at this. Look at the, the size of this. Of this area alone. Like, of this area. Like, if, if, if we were to go down right now just the sheer size of this part of the map is like it's crazy and then you have all those mountains back there oh it seems like someone crashed hold on let me let me stop i want to say something uh do you see that building over there i think that's where i was trying to go at night it was lit up it looked really cool. So I'm going to land Mirai Fury. Looks like someone crashed. So I'm going to go down here. Deploy my landing gear. And we're going to have a gander at this. See what's going on. Oh boy, trying to land on 20 FPS. All right. You guys already know how cold it's going to be when I get out there. Along with me having no helmet, I am... My body is ready. Let's go. Oh no. Okay. Ouch. Jeez, wind. Mean. Ah. Uh. Um. Uh. <laughs> Oh, where did all of this come from? The gaming gods must be haunting me. <laughs> what happened to the visibility? Now we have to know what's in here. Okay, there's that little thing right there. And then there's a box. Right here. I want to see what's in that box. I think it's inside of... it inside all right take two there's no way I'm going to get in there Well, you know what they say. Get rich or die. Trying. Oh, man. 
this game looks so amazing. Okay, it's now or never. Goodness. Uh, that's not happening. Something over here. A wing? Looks like it. And then there was someone's little... Whatever this is. It's an arrive thing to do. Looks like it's got guns on it. Quite crafty little thing. Now I don't believe I will be able to retrieve whatever is there. C K E T Racket They already knew this was a no go. There is not much that can be done. Okay, so before my character dies, I tried my best. Um, I maybe I believe I've seen some YouTube videos of people having this gun that can grab things towards them. I do not have that, so uh, I don't. I don't think I'll be able to attain what I want here. But it was still really cool to come and see this wreck and the fact that you can uh, sort of scrap parts of it off. Like what that person did to the uh, side of the ship to write those words, I believe. Either way, let's move forward. And yeah, this is just a really nice side of this, of this city. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my cities, you know, I'm a city boy. And I love my cyberpunk themes, but there's just something about nature, you know, being directly across from a city. It's like New York Central Park, except it's not directly across. It is, it is right in the middle. So I can, I want to fly over those buildings right there. They've got some mountains over there in the distance. But yeah, this alone, whoops, I'm <laughs> pretty, I thought I had a uh, Z held but I guess I didn't this experience alone is, is worth something you know how many games can you do this in what I'm currently doing like how many games have this option right here like sure it's buggy this and that right blah 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 right sure, sure there's a lot of faults with it but in how many games can you do this? You know, you can get out of your spaceship. It's, st or not get out, but get out of the seat. And it's still going, right? You can, well, I thought I had a flashlight. I guess I don't have my helmet, but it's, it's still going. It's still going. And you can come back here and you can sit, you can 
attend to your needs, right? And it is still going. And all around you are other players doing who knows what, right? You're in this consistent world of whatever, right? Like that experience alone is at least worth the starter ship's pricing. At, at least. Now, it depends on what you want out of your game. Some people are just fine flying around, looking at scenery, making videos, taking pictures, etc, etc. And these uh, planets are big enough to, you know, have a bunch of variety on them in the near future. To where you can spend a very long time on one planet doing a whole bunch of things. Now, of course, uh, it's uh, the scope of this game is massive, and what they want to achieve is uh, achievable, but it's going to take some time, and I'm not going to get into the politics of things. It's just really hard without making everything look the same. Um... But yeah, I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna get into that side of it. The game just looks nice, and it feels good when it runs smooth. Which, as you can see, smooth for me is 20 FPS. I know some people get um like 50, 60, 70, 80. One one guy said he gets like no less than 80. I was like, geez. Like this is crazy. Um, let's. I want to go over here. I want to go over here because it was at night and I couldn't see. Where's that little building I was talking about? I think it's in this direction. It's that, isn't it? Maybe it's that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You got the water just flying off. It's quite amazing. Now, what was I looking for? Is it here? Yes, it was here. Was it? I would love to get a flight stick. I think that would... But then I don't have the game, but... If I do buy the game... Look at that. If I do buy the game... Get a flight stick and... Make flying a little bit easier, perhaps. At least like the thrusters. That'd be a lot more enjoyable. Look at that. There's so much that can be done. Like... I hope that has some significance someday. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Something about snow. That makes you feel warm inside. I kinda wanna land somewhere down there see what that's all about. Jeez. You can't... You can't do this in any random game. Absolutely beautiful. Let's... Let's land somewhere. Like, right down there. Maybe on top of a mountain. Pick a random place. Maybe like right here. Yeah. Now you can 
and see the trees pop in. I know how we all feel about popping, pop out. Land right up here. Jeez. Oh, wow, so I've had my landing gear all this time. Landing gear deployed. Okay. Let's see, I think I'll take it right here. There we go. Not bad. Another successful landing for your boy. How many have I had already in this free fly event? How many successful landings have I had? Look at, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Can I? Uh. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sure I can get back up there. Ha <laughs> ha. What did I say? What did I say? So correct me if I'm wrong guys, but those are actual players. Players or um... AI? I know sometimes... Jeez, look at, look at the views. I know sometimes um... You have like the security personnel. They'll come and scan your ship. Look at this rock right here. Oh, they got some over there as well. Um, it's not covered by snow. <laughs> uh oh. What have I done? What have I done? Now, these rocks are detailed. It's just my internet. And computer, probably. Oh, boy. Oh, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? I can't... Oh, you can, you can see a little bit. You can see a little bit. So, I've climbed up here. Visibility has gone to hell. I'm sure it'll come back before I freeze. I wanna, I wanna, I'm trying to get this really nice shot. I can't tell you the amount of times I'm playing this game. In the past week I'm flying and this happens. And then I sort of have to slow down because I don't like, I kind of lose um, understanding of what's up and down. Because <laughs> I always fly my ship um, and like weird angles. Um, and yes, sometimes I forget. And it can just be super foggy. And you have all those lights from the ship illuminating the fog. It can be very disorienting. What happens if I... I guess you're, you're freezing either way. I'm a fan of the bracelet. So, maybe this is just the, um, sort of winds you get up there, or perhaps it goes away? Let me see. What if we go back down? Are we experiencing the same thing? Yes, we are. Like, what if I head back to my ship? Okay, it definitely wasn't like this before, but, but still, like, that's awesome. Like, sure, I wanted to get a nice view from up top, but the game was like, nah, this is how things are going to be. This is the type of planet you're on, and this is the weather, which is very unpredictable. 
and you just have to uh, accept it. And uh, even though I wanted to go up there and get a nice shot, you can barely see it. Even though I wanted this nice shot, like, the judge of this event, of this sporadic wind, bone chilling wind, kind of makes the experience what it is. Let's go back in here before I, uh, Ooh, lose a couple things. Jeez. Look at that. I love the sound as well. He's getting sort of... hair. Like a slight rain. Slight drizzle. Gotta love that Star Citizen ASMR. How long have I been playing this game? For about 40 something minutes. Weather... It's still the same. And it's probably going to be that way for a very, very long time. So, there's one thing I like about the game. The... Is it the server time or the universe time? I think it's the universe time. Now, although the seconds go by fast, at least um, you get a really long day and night cycle. I appreciate that. It's something that you get to actually enjoy. Even though the seconds are going by crazy fast. You get this very nice day and night cycle that um, that feels believable. These, ooh, oh boy, this is not the way. Look out over yonder, I can't see anything. Let's go back up here. I'm crouching, I don't want to make a misstep. I can't lose myself, not out here. Not while we still have a mission to complete. We've got bills to pay. You know what? It's fine. We go back in the ship. And we go do something else. We'll, we'll go and fly somewhere. And... We're going to stay on the same planet. And just... Take a flight. Take a flight around. Maybe we'll come across something that we enjoy. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Or maybe it'll crash into a mountain. Because... I... Have absolutely no idea... How high I... Well... I guess if you look at the... Let's see, two... 0.2 K meters above, but even then, um, it's a little bit I'm not the best at reading that stuff. There can still be mountains right in front of you. Uh, I think we're going up. Okay, let's go to the side here. Should we be able to see the ground? Let's go. Down a bit. Yeah, go down slowly. There we go. Alright, let's get a little bit closer to the ground now that I sort of have an idea. 
Also, I think we're going away from you, Babbage. I wonder if I wanna go to like an outpost on this planet. That's not one. They're probably all For the last portion of the video, let's do that. But I've been at this for about an hour, and I think it's time for a nice stop. Now, I would love for it to be still sunny out. So we'll have to see if we can go to an outpost. It's not riddled with the world of darkness. But either or is fine. This planet looks great regardless. Okay. So I think we can do a little stop there. And now. We should be able to find something. Ghost Hollow? I don't think that's what I want. I think that's a... A PvP area or something like that, if I'm not wrong. I don't know. So, all of these that I'm locating are... On the other side of the planet. Yeah, everything's on the other side of the planet. The Necropolis. And there we've got new Babaj right there. And it's glory. Wonderful city. I... I give it my plus one. I truly, truly do. Wait, is that... What is that over there? Is that ice? Wow, oh, more ice. Um... I just might go there. Honestly, okay, how about... How about I take a look at what that is? I'm curious. How long would it take to go... To get there? Not too long. <laughs> Not too long. I'm barely moving. Like a minute, maybe. About a good, a good, a good minute. So there are a lot of things I have yet to try out. I haven't tried salvaging. Um, I have tried um, mining with the multi-tool. It was okay, but like. The 30Ks just ruined me. <laughs> they really ruined me. I would um, mine a lot, go back to my ship, and be on my way, and then I would just disconnect, and that was so brutal because I feel like I wasted a, a lot of valuable hours of my life, or not hours, but like minutes that matter. And um, I know they don't want things to be that way. Um, I hope they fix that soon. Um, I haven't, we haven't gotten a 30K today as I've been playing, so that's cool. Um, I am surprised actually. So maybe I'll go and try some actual mining again. Although um, for the most part, you're subjected to cave mining, which, although I love my caves, holy, they can be brutal. They can be quite brutal. They can, they, they're honestly something else, and they're dark and just, they are very dangerous. You have to watch, you have to watch your step. So I wish I could do on the uh, on-world surface mining. I think that would be fun. 
um that's that's what i'm used to in my in my uh, games i also wish uh fishing becomes a thing some someday of, of course i want them to focus on the overall experience and the uh server stability and bettering persistence and uh all of that stuff that adds to the quality of life of star citizen like it doesn't have to be complete now but at least make it bearable digestible at least make it worth it and you know mitigate the um time people waste because like we love realism but uh you know when things are out of your control and they ruin your uh like 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 uh server errors that's just not fun for anyone um but obviously no one wants their game to be riddled with server errors oh boy let's go up almost died holy moly almost died but we didn't but we didn't is that water now that i'm uh right here is that water jeez okay we're about to test it out Ooh, I think that's water. I think that's water. Retracted. What? Retracted? I think I would have to get a little bit closer as well. See, I wouldn't want to land in water. Alright, let's get a little closer. boy see if it is water and that's bad news this is ice this is ice let's get a little closer or maybe it's all ice maybe it's all ice is there, is there still, um, we can still see sort of rocks on the surface. Is it all ice? I think it is. That's land here. This is for science. It's all ice. Okay, let's get out and stand. Let's see. The moment of truth. Ice. One. What was it? One something. One something step for man, large step for man, something for humanity. Was my Titan always black? Anyway. <laughs> uh, this is Star Citizen. Wouldn't it be funny if I fall in some water and just could not get out? Like right there. Nice. Alright, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. It's about... We're coming up on 60 minutes of the video. This is a really cool frozen lake, ginormous lake. And, uh, you know, I've been thinking about the um, ability to construct houses, like little outposts. Um, I think it would be interesting to some extent, to some extent, like predefined outposter, like small housing but I mean if you have a ship then 
Well, you potentially need that for, right? But then again, houses are cool. Personally, I think it would be nice if they had little, like, apartment buildings somewhere located maybe around the uh, planets. Like, maybe like in a, like a small apartment complex here that players could rent. I think, I think that would be nice. You know, like, already created housing and then... I think that's what they should do. They should work on creating apartments and maybe like little houses that they've created and just they could put them around the map and uh, you know you can you can just go there and enjoy yourself and your community and then in the future they could work on allowing players to sort of create what they want in their persistent uh, world. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they, they'll do what they want. It's just a thought. The game is cool. I want to buy it, but I don't know if I'm, if it's ready, if it's ready for me. Look at my frame rate. Not bad. 40. It's pretty neat. Like I said. This experience alone is worth something. But anyway, with that being said, it has been your boy. And, uh, I don't know if I'll make another Star Citizen video. But, uh, until then, take care of yourself. And when you visit New Babaj, Make sure to come to this amazing area and reflect on your space exploration life. Okay, let me get back in here and get out of here and go get my helmets. Go make some money and try not to 30k. Peace.